Hey guys. Welcome. I was gonna, the lighting's good. My hair's amazing. Say hi. If you are watching this on the replay, let me know that too. Would love to know who's on. All right, so I named this How to Get Out of Depression. These are really just gonna be my ideas. So obviously I'm not claiming them as the only way or a medical scenario or anything like that. Um, one thing that I've noticed, so hey guys, welcome. I've noticed that the nutrition you're on is super, super important. Hey Cindy. Um, and I've been on great nutrition for about um, 12 years. 13 years. That's huge, guys. I haven't been to the doctor's office maybe two times in 12 years. And is there any wood around here? Uh, then it's like I never get sick. Stuff like that. Supporting your butt, your butt, your gut. <laughs> Supporting your gut and your butt is super important. Super important. Um, hey Carla, so these are some of the things that I've done over the years is solid nutrition, whatever that means for you. If you are going from McDonald's to better nutrition, that's a whole different lineup than a person that has solidly rocked out their nutrition and now goes to a naturopathic doctor. That is a whole different ball game. Um, but if you are looking for the starting point, message me. I'd love to tell you some solutions on that. But your gut health, your liver health is extremely important. It controls everything weight loss wise and your whole gut health, which affects your day, right? When you are not feeling good, especially down there. So um, that's a huge piece to my staying away from prescription drugs, uh, especially in the hard times that I've had in life. Friends and team. So for me, the friends that I keep are positive, forward-moving, non-Eeyore type people. And I'm super picky about that. That doesn't mean none of my friends have down times. But I definitely am not the friend that's going to be like, hey, you go ahead and stay in that sad victim mode for months. I'm not going to, I'm not going to allow that or be around it. And um, that might sound harsh, but I'm super protective and have great boundaries around how to stay out of depression, which means not watching the news, not listening to negativity my Facebook is so clean and full of fantastic people. I highly suggest doing that as well. Um, I deleted about 2,500 people about two years ago or a year and a half. And I've only had three of those people reach out to me and say, hey, how come we're not friends anymore? So that tells you something. I mean, that's a huge ego booster right there that those 2,500 people missed me greatly. <laughs> but sometimes it's just clean in house and to support you, to honor you. You're at choice, right? Always. Hey, Crystal. Um, you're at choice to have boundaries and solid people around you. Hey, Jason. <laughs> Yeah, you did make the cut. <laughs> oh boy, Jason. Um, I don't even know what I was talking about. That was the biggest squirrel I've ever had on a live besides the guys in Saudi Arabia telling me I'm beautiful. Does anyone have any comments about my unwashed hair? Am I still beautiful? So um, nutrition, friends, inner circle, team. I handpicked my team to be on um and I am stoked and I'm running like crazy because it's fun and it's easy and I'm winning competitions and awards and it's all against myself 
I am outdoing myself each month, which to me, instead of comparison, put things in your life that are helping you go against yourself, be better than you were yesterday. Um, and creating fun camaraderie, that's huge for me. The other thing is positive books and music. So that goes along with TV. Anything that's coming in through your eyes and soul, through your ears, eyes, that's important, you guys. If you want to, I don't know, if you can kind of think of maybe the most negative person that you know, um, if you went into their house, would they have like positive praise music going on or would they have the news and ah, blah, 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 all this stuff, the world's ending? Yeah, that's, that's totally two different spaces to be in. Um, and my last thing, and definitely message me about any of this stuff. My last thing to get through last year without being on prescription drugs, um, was intricate and integral. It was necess it was a necessity to make this happen, to find this product for myself. Thanks, Jason. Jason's a big deal comedian, so I'm honored to have you on here, bud. Um, and he's funnier than, mm-hmm. And so am I. So the two of us together are pretty funny. Oh, I don't even use Canva. Message me that. You know I want to get a message from you, Jason, and hear how you're doing. Okay, so the product that I found um, in February... And I was still in quite a downward spiral back then. Is this uh, Tetra Blend drink? It's coffee esque. It's in the coffee family um, from this company, and it has not only mood boosted me out of some serious victim s ness. Hey, Lori, um, the focus that it gives me is incredible. So when you're in depression, you're just really scatterbrained and you're really quite shut down uh, from ideas and not even thinking that you can dream almost. And then there's no focus for sure. And then you feel like, wow, I'm not getting anywhere, people. So if you can find a product that goes against prescription drugs and gives you what you need to, to be a successful person, I think I've shown you guys since February what I've created. Um, it's it's a lot due to product. It's a lot due to cleaning house of negativity. It's a lot finding my friends that are positive. It's a lot finding team, and it's a lot of God. That's how. Um, but I'm also open. So if you're in a place where you are coming from a place of no, or like a, I tell my boys this all the time. Are you a solution finder or are you a problem finder? Because if you're in the solution mode, I want to talk to you. Like, let's find a solution. If you're in the problem finder mode, like nothing, there's not a product out there that will work for you. There just isn't. You're so committed to this product not working well for you that you are going to manifest that. If you're in a place of, geez, because let me tell you, for my car accident five years ago, I'm still working on solutions. I just went through cryotherapy for four days in a row. That is, I just did pro today for three minutes at negative 220. That's cold. Um, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I've supported my body with many, many mod modalities, and I'm waiting for my healing, and it will come. So, but if I was like, nothing's gonna work, and I was closed off, then maybe I would never find healing, and I could sit in my victim story the rest of my life. How much fun is that? So, the other qualities that this um, coffee, Tetra Blend coffee, gives me is memory support um, and healthy brain aging. So 
as you get in your 40s, you start going, uh, hey, listen, um, you start really questioning, oh my gosh, I do not remember what I was doing. And I have no clue how I did the hospitality business and ran wedding after wedding, fine line details for three straight years, 60 hours a week, and never like dropped one detail. So maybe I'm just taking a major break and going, well, I just don't need to remember that many details. But this has really helped me go, okay, I totally know what I was doing when I came into this room. So it's awesome. Definitely reach out to me. Um, a lot of our products have collagen in them. That's super important. Hey, Jennifer. Collagen is super important. Um, you're going to see in a couple of months uh, my whole skin shift. And it's going to be natural, non-Botox. I mean, I really don't have that many wrinkles. Of course, this lighting is a little bit weird now already. Um, but my WTF line has to be gone and then I'll know that I'll know I'm there. Um, but be open, you guys. Be open to new ideas. Be open to shopping in a different store, trying a different product, supporting a different MLM friend, supporting anyone except a storefront, right? Shop locally. I've always been a huge fan of that. Hey, Amy, if you're shopping locally, to me that means you're shopping with your friends. That's open. So, um, that's open. Yeah, you're open. Open to things. So, have a great day. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. It's a long weekend. School's out. <laughs> In this uh, coffee and creamer trio, or with my uh, waist trimming solution, in my coffee is just a fantastic solution. And if I haven't shown you that I've shifted moods in a while, that I don't know what else to show you. I don't know what else to show you because you'll probably see a big time period in between my live videos in 2018. There's probably only like 10. So that's, that's very telling. I forgot to tell you the last one, um, and I will be going into this in my writing. If you haven't seen my, I did two blogs this week, so I've been in my healing and in my uh, writing space, my creative space. And hey, Linda, um, I'll be going into this a little more, but my last thing to offer you about how to get out of depression is to have some clearing conversations. So I had, I've had actually several clearing conversations in the last month um, with family members and it has been so liberating and so energizing to get all the junk, the elephants on the table. Like I just did a meme about that and did a quote with it um, it's hard for a family tree to flourish when there's elephants sitting in the branches. And that's what I've been toiling through for the last couple of weeks. And that's when I end up writing a fantastic piece. So I'd love for you to follow me, um, on my blogs. If you'd like that link, message me, I'll send you the link. Um, I love having the comments and, uh, cause I do not have haters. I don't know why everyone talks about these haters that they have. I don't know if they can tell that I would really enjoy harassing them back. Or I don't know why I don't have them, but I just don't attract them. I put out a lot of a love out there. And geez, if you want to hate on me, go for it. I'll give it a whirl. That'll be funny, actually. But I'm not saying, hey, bring on the hatred. But... Um, that's my last suggestion, is really getting some clarity and some clearing on some relationships. And I got to talk to my dad um, yesterday, and it was the biggest gift of my life. So, I'll be talking about that maybe in a different live. Um, 
because I think it possibly is the biggest miracle of my life. And I've seen some really cool stuff happen. So I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing weekend. And thank you so much for coming on.